What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy King Tier today. You know, as you can see, back at the crib, unfortunately, but it's all good though. We're gonna make it work. So, today I'm gonna show you how I make this Afro beat. Uh, I think it sounds like, you know, an Oxlade kind of beat. Maybe like, uh, who else? Uh, Aria Star from Santa, right? But yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. Let's get it. <music> Song we got a uh, jazz guitar, it's called the Jazz Guitar Pick B from Omnisphere, and it sounds like this. So, yeah, it's very simple. So, um, for effects, you just got a uh, footy phaser on it to make it sound like more washed up, and then an EQ to cut out some of the lows. So when I made this, you know, like I said, it's very simple. I started with some chords, like right here. So say like, you know, I want to start in, let's say D minor, right? So go ahead, come up here. And I guess I put a chord like down here. So and I'm gonna just go down the scale. Let's do, let's do something like this. Then after that, uh, for the melody, I just like place some in my head, like dun, 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 dun. so. Let's let's take a song right now. something like that so for the next sound we got another jazz guitar it's the exact same preset but i just use this as an accent and it sounds like this so yeah when making this i um i guess like when you make an accent it's not really a root to it it's just like put down what sounds nice like almost imagine like you playing the, the guitar for real right and like you freestyling it's kind of how it would be like so yeah you know play with the velocity sound to make it sound more realistic and yeah so uh for some of the effects i got a guitar rig on it on the the uh joyful chorus preset with a valhalla supermassive on it on the default preset and a phaser on it to make it like sound I didn't want it to sound the exact same as the original one. So, you know, without effects, it sounds like this. That's cool, but, you know, with effects, it sounds way better. So, yeah. So, now, you know what? A lot of Afro beats, they use a lot of uh, E pianos in it. So, for this one, I got Analog Lab E piano. It's the, the Great One preset. And I just copied the chords from the jazz guitar, and it sounds like this. Like, bro, it, just, it makes this like sound like just so like crystallized. I don't know what it is, but like it, in the background, it sounds so nice. So, yeah. And then for the other one, we have something to go on with the guitar, right? So, you know, when you play guitar and you slide on it, it's gonna make like a <laughs> like type noise, right? It's the uh, Flamenco Guitar Effects menu, and this is what I did to it, right? Yeah, so when you layer the guitars and the e pianos together, it sounds like this. All right, so <coughs> so next we got this little bail thingy. It's a synthetic steel drum from Expand, and it sounds like this.
So making this, I use like the same chords from the other one, from the other uh, sounds, and I just like shorten it to make it sound more plucky. And then for some of it, like this right here, it's just like, it's heavily strung. That's all it is to it. You know, play with the velocity sound and make it sound more realistic. And yeah, for effects, I got an RC20 on it, uh, a magic dice, which uh, literally, I don't know what it does, but like it gives it, gets it like some random effect to it. And it's real nice. Uh, I think it had like a delay to it, some reverb to it, but yeah. Then we got an EQ to uh, kind of boost some of the, uh, the good parts. And then, uh, you know, cut off some of the lows. So, next we got this. I think it's a, yes, bass from Expand. The very hard finger bass, and it sounds like this. So now, if you notice, right, uh, for all the other sounds, it was just four bars, but for the bass, I wanted to make it eight bars, so I can have, you know, one half be, you know, its own thing, then the other half be, you know, kind of unique, because I ain't want the same thing to happen for the whole, you know, for the whole beat, you dig? So, for that, just a guitar rig to give it some more amplification to it, mm -hmm. I can use big words, right? So, yeah, next, we got RK, right? You listening? Get the Lovebird Canal. Um, I forgot what it was. I think it's a guitar type thing, but yeah, it sounds like this. Like, bruh, like, when you add this to everything, it sounds a lot fire for real. Like, without effects, it sounds like this. And that's cool, but like, with effects, though, with the phaser and Valhalla. It's like so cool. Like I don't know if you heard uh, Colossa by Oxlade, but like it kind of has like that like effect to it, and I think that's that's nice to it. Like it, I don't know. It just like makes me happy, man. You know, I'm so happy. So right next we got this, got this vocal from Arcade from the Distant Voices Bank from Red Lotus, and it sounds like this. You know, it just gives it some more airiness to it. Um, I guess my inspiration from, from this beat, uh, for this beat, it came from a song called Down Flat. And in this, uh, in the beat, or in the song, they use vocals, uh, in the background, which sounds pretty cool for real. So, now, we got a pad from Expand. Don't worry, we're almost done with the melody, calm you. But anyway, right, so we got the pads, the shimmering pads, to give it some more shimmer to it. It sounds like this. So for effects, we just got a magic dice on it. Like I said, I forgot what it does, but you know, without effects, it sounds like this. And with it. So, yeah. So, um, and then we got a strings too from the BBC Orchestra Bank. So yeah, so the whole melody put together or most of it at least, it sounds like this. Right, so now let's get to the drums, okay? So, first thing we're gonna talk about is the log drum. It sounds like this. Uh, wait, actually first, right, I got this VST called the log drum uh, VST, right? And you know, you can pick different log drums. So, uh, here's what it sounds like. So, yeah, making log drums, bro, it's like, Sometimes you might want to go crazy. Sometimes you might want to keep it chill. For this one, I kind of kept it a little bit more on the chill side, but I like to add. I wanted to add some more bounce to it, so that's why it kind of goes high and go low. Like you know, that's what we do. So, yeah. 
Next, right, we got a shaker loop from the Miraculous Beat uh, kit, and it sounds like this. Not much to explain there, right? So then now, you know, I'm using the um, Afro Beats drum kit. I think it came from Semi Beats. Uh, it's a pretty cool, it's a really uh, good producer when it comes to like, you know, different kinds of beats, especially Afro Beats, man. Like, you should go check them out. But yeah, the uh, rim sounds like this. So, you know, it's a very simple uh, rim bounce. Next, we got a Congo. Right, so. Then we got a Tom to add on to it. So I'm simple. Um, I'm going to skip the kick for a minute. We're going to get this other rim. Right? We got a crash. And we got some hi-hats too to give us some more bounce. Got some more perks in the snare to add on to it. Right. And then we got this uh field drum from I think the same uh semi beast drum kit. It sounds like this. It's real nice for real. And then you know, for some other stuff too, we got a clap right here. Which is very common in a lot of Afro and Ama Piano beats. So, yeah. You no, know, I think it's very nice, man. So, like I said, you know, when you put everything together. Thank you for the end of the video. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow my IG and everything. Uh, yeah, man, I'm not gonna lie. Making this was very fun for real. I made it about a week ago and I recorded it today. But, you know, I'm like, I might get more into making Afro beats, man. Like, it's, it's very peaceful, you know what I mean? But, yeah, um, let me know what you wanna see next. If you wanna see, like, you know, different kind of Afro beat, let me know. If you wanna see something else, let me know if you want me to make, you know, whatever you, whatever you want to make, whatever you want me to make, let me know, you know what I mean? But yeah, like I said, man, have a good day. Peace.